Well, Music Generation is Ireland's national music education programme and it's all about helping children and young people access high quality music tuition in their local area. And probably the aim of the programme is best described by um, one of its principal donors, Bono from U2, who said, what we want to do is really simple. We just want to make sure that every child has access to tuition. And that really is the idea of it. Um, it's initiated by Music Network and it's funded nationally by a 7 million euro philanthropic donation from U2 and the Ireland funds. And then locally it's funded uh, by local music education partnerships, of which there is one in County Mayo. There is a lot of different programmes. We ran a, a pilot programme there in primary schools. We've started now a programme in preschools because obviously the earlier we get young people involved in music, the more of an impact it has. And they then will follow on to primary schools so that we'll hope that we get them at different stages of their development. Um, some of the residency programmes we're running now, we're working with teenagers. We'll also be starting a youth music uh, initiative in Ballina, kind of focusing mainly on, on bands and, and solo performers. Um, so we've a rehearsal space down there. So yeah, there is a quite an expanse of young people to address and there's lots of interesting ways to engage with them, so we're very fortunate. We started planning in 2006 for an application that wouldn't come to pass until 2010 um, simply because we wanted to have our research done and we wanted to be successful for its time. We knew that there would be, it was a competitive process and Mayo needed it and we knew what we had to do to get it and we were successful first time out. For me, music is as important as education. They're interlinked and they're inextricably interwoven. What, what is very significant about this particular programme is that young kids can now look at a whole variety of instruments across the range and if they like and if they choose to, to learn one of those instruments then they have that option by coming into the library in, either in, 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 in Castlebar or in the, in the, throughout the whole of the county and choosing the instrument that they would like to play and taking it home and trying it out and see if it works for them and if it works for them, great, then they can progress, they can learn and uh, advance their, their skills in it. And if not, they can bring it back and change it to something else. Because as we know, there's quite a variety of instruments within the instrument bank. And it's very important that, that, the, that the, you know, the kids have access to those. Well, one of the great things about Music Generation is that it's not completely conventional in you know, the sense that it's all syllabus-based. We're very broad, that, you know, we can, if a child is interested in rock and roll or blues or country or you know trad anything there's, there's someone on the panel who can help them out you know and we have this thing uh, the youth music initiative which is starting up in the Belna Arts Centre soon and uh, there's a facility there for young bands or young musicians to to play and you know, form bands and have practice sessions and everything else and there'll be opportunities for the for young bands to meet you know like experienced touring bands and have workshops and things like that that's something I'd be involved in myself so and to be able to just look at music as a career you know We took in an application from the County Community Forum for an instrument bank and as far as I know there's 404 instruments purchased, all the different ranges of instruments purchased and uh, our board was able to approve a grant towards the purchase of that instrument bank of €75,284 I think is the exact sum. So that's a colossal obviously boost to the overall project and um, 
we're really happy to be associated with it because it's a tremendous project in all kinds of different ways. Well, this uh, official launch is held here in a library. And the concept of the library is that you can borrow books and read them and therefore find new uh, adventures. And the male generation in terms of the musical instruments is the same idea, that children can have access to and borrow and therefore learn music, which is an international currency. So if you like, it's uh, an extension of the library idea because instruments are very expensive because children might not wish to follow through once they get a particular instrument in the first place, but might come back to it later. It's an opportunity here for thousands of young children all over the country to actually have access through this kind of scheme to stimulate their creativity and their imagination in terms of music. I think it's a brilliant innovation, and to all of those who assisted in it, the tutors and the funders, together with the, the council and the VEC and all of that, uh, are all to be complimented. It really is an investment in the future, and I've no doubt but that out of this will come satisfaction and exhibition and demonstration and the discovering of new musical talents in the years ahead, right across the country. Hopefully in 2015-16 we'll be phased out of the situation and the state will take it over. They've get, like the Rory Quinn has guaranteed that the, the schemes that we set up, that the department, we, we do it for three years, up to 200,000 a year each uh, for, for three years. And uh, the, the, the department, wonderfully, even in these straitened times, has agreed that they will that will take it over, which we think is a, is a wonderful thing. And hopefully it will be extended to the whole country.